Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to look at what we would consider a real yo-yo. Two discs put together with a small cylinder in the middle over which the string is wound. Let's say that the total mass of the yo-yo is equal to m and that the mass of the little cylinder in the middle can be ignored. It's very small compared to the mass of the whole cylinder to make the problem a little bit easier. Also notice that we call the radius of the inner disc over which the string is wound. That radius is about one-third the radius of the total outer disc of the yo-yo. All right, let's go ahead and figure out what the acceleration would be of a yo-yo like this. Again, we have to solve two equations. We can say that the torque is equal to I times alpha because the tension here provides a torque about the center of the yo-yo. There's a rotational acceleration caused by the tension here, so there'll be a rotational acceleration which causes the yo-yo to accelerate downward. Secondly, we can use the equation F equals MA. And notice that the weight of the yo-yo will be pulling the yo-yo down. So acting on the center mass of the yo-yo, we have MG. And that will cause the acceleration downward. It's actually a combination of the tension and the weight of the yo-yo. The torque can be calculated by taking the tension here, multiplied times the radius over which it acts, that is the RN. So that would be equal to the tension times Rn is equal to the moment of inertia of the yo-yo, which would be one-half the mass of the yo-yo times the radius of the yo-yo. Now we're going to take the large radius as the radius of the yo-yo, ignoring the small little cylinder at the center, so that will be R on the outer, squared times alpha, and again we can say that the tangential acceleration A is equal to, oh now we have to be careful, the acceleration is caused by the rotation of the inner cylinder, not the rotation of the outer cylinder. So we have to relate the acceleration here as being equal to R inner times the angular acceleration, or alpha is equal to A divided by R inner. So we have to make sure we understand that R in is what's causing the acceleration to go downward this way. All right, let's go ahead and plug that into our equation here, alpha can now be written as A divided by Rn. F equals MA can be found by taking the total force, the Mg, causing the acceleration downward, minus the tension pulling back up, equals the mass times the acceleration. Solving this equation for the tension, moving this to the other side becomes positive, moving MA to the left it becomes negative. Switching the equation around, we get tension is equal to Mg minus MA. And solving this equation for the tension, notice what we can do here is we can move the R into the bottom right here. We can write that the tension is equal to one half the mass times R out squared divided by R in squared times alpha times A, the acceleration. Now there's a relationship. R out divided by R in can be written as follows. We can say that R out divided by R in is equal to 3, Good. moving that over there, moving this down here, so that R out divided by R in, that ratio is 3, when we square it, we get 9, so the tension is equal to 1 half the mass times 3 squared times A, or we can say that the tension is equal to 9 halves M times A. So now we have an equation for the tension here, and we have an equation for the tension here. Now we can go ahead and solve those simultaneously, so we can solve for the acceleration of the yo-yo. We expect a much slower acceleration since the string is wound over a much smaller cylinder there. So let's go ahead and see what that's equal to. Setting those two equal to each other, we can say that 9 over 2 MA equals MG minus MA. Notice every term in the equation has an M in it, so that cancels out. So we get 9 over 2A equals g minus a, moving the minus a to the other side, I get 9 over 2a plus a equals g, adding those together we get 11 over 2a equals g, or a equals 2 divided by 11g. Notice we have a much smaller acceleration when we have the string wound over a very small cylinder in the middle of the yo-yo between the two big discs. Now of course, depending upon what the ratio of the radius is, the smaller you make the inner disc, the slower the acceleration. The bigger you make the inner disc, the larger the acceleration. And eventually, when you make the inner disc equal to the outer disc, I believe we got the equation A equals 2 thirds G. 
So that's why yo-yos accelerate so slowly downward, is because the string is wound on the inner disc, which is small compared to the total size of the yo-yo, causing yo-yo to accelerate very slowly downward. And that's how we calculate that.